title, Chilling Tales from the CCTV, Beyond the Lens. In the heart of the small, quaint town of Ravenswood, nestled among the dense forest and rolling hills, stood an old, dilapidated mansion, its weather-beaten facade and overgrown gardens spoke of a forgotten era, where whispers of dark secrets lingered in the shadows. The mansion, known as Blackwood Manor, had long been abandoned, its halls echoing with the ghosts of its past. But one thing remained constant, the watchful gaze of the CCTV cameras that adorned its exterior. For years, the townsfolk whispered tales of strange occurrences caught on the CCTV footage, unexplained shadows darting across the grounds, eerie figures lurking in the windows, and chilling screams echoing through the night. Among those intrigued by the mysteries of Blackwood Manor was Sarah, a young journalist with a penchant for the supernatural, determined to uncover the truth behind the haunted mansion. She delved into its history, unearthing stories of tragedy and despair. Armed with her camera and a sense of adventure, Sarah set out to capture evidence of the supernatural on the CCTV cameras that guarded Blackwood Manor. But as she reviewed the footage, she soon realized that she had stumbled upon something far more sinister than she had ever imagined. The cameras revealed glimpses of a world beyond the lens, a realm of darkness inhabited by malevolent entities that hungered for the souls of the living. Each night, as Sarah watched in horror, the creatures grew bolder, venturing closer to the mansion in search of their next victim. As the line between reality and nightmare blurred, Sarah found herself trapped in a deadly game of cat and mouse with the supernatural forces that lurked within Blackwood Manor. With each passing day, the darkness closed in around her, threatening to consume her soul. But Sarah refused to surrender to fear, armed with her determination and a will to survive. She continued to unravel the mysteries of the mansion, inching closer to the truth with each terrifying encounter. Yet, as she delved deeper into the heart of darkness, Sarah realized that some secrets were meant to remain buried, and some horrors were better left unseen. And as the final moments of the CCTV footage played out, she knew that her journey into the unknown was far from over. For beyond the lens of the CCTV cameras lay a world of unimaginable terror, where the shadows held sway and the dead walked among the living. And as Sarah stared into the abyss, she knew that the true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. As Sarah delved deeper into the mysteries of Blackwood Manor, the sinister presence that lurked within its walls grew ever more palpable. Every creak of the floorboards, every flicker of the lights, seemed to be a warning from the other side, urging her to turn back before it was too late. But Sarah's curiosity outweighed her fear, driving her forward into the heart of the darkness. Armed with nothing but her camera and her wits, she ventured into the depths of the mansion, determined to uncover the truth behind its haunted past. As she explored the labyrinthine corridors and forgotten rooms, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. Shadows danced at the edge of her vision, and whispers echoed through the empty halls filling her with a sense of dread. Yet, despite the overwhelming sense of danger, Sarah pressed on, driven by a desire to unravel the secrets of Blackwood Manor. But with 
each step she took. The darkness seemed to close in around her, threatening to swallow her whole. And then, just when Sarah thought she couldn't bear the tension any longer, she stumbled upon a discovery that sent chills down her spine, hidden deep within the bowels of the mansion. She found a series of tunnels that stretched out like veins beneath the earth, leading to God's nowhere. Intrigued and terrified in equal measure, Sarah knew that she had stumbled upon something beyond her wildest nightmares. What lay at the end of those tunnels? and what unspeakable horrors awaited her in the depths below. With a trembling hand, Sarah activated her camera and ventured into the darkness, knowing that there was no turning back. For beyond the lens of the CCTV cameras, a new chapter of terror was about to unfold, and Sarah was about to become its unwilling protagonist. As Sarah navigated the labyrinthine tunnels beneath Blackwood Manor, her senses were overwhelmed by the oppressive darkness and the stale scent of decay. The air grew thick with every step she took, as if the very atmosphere itself was conspiring against her. The walls seemed to pulse with a malevolent energy, and strange symbols etched into the stone glowed with an otherworldly light. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest as she pressed on, her footsteps echoing in the silence like a death knell. But just as she began to question her sanity, Sarah stumbled upon a chamber unlike any she had ever seen. Carved into the walls were intricate patterns of twisted figures and grotesque faces their eyes seeming to follow her every move. In the center of the chamber stood an altar, bathed in an eerie glow that seemed to emanate from the very depths of hell itself. And upon the altar lay a book bound in human skin, its pages filled with ancient incantations and forbidden knowledge. With trembling hands, Sarah reached out to touch the book, her fingers brushing against its weathered surface. As she flipped through its pages, she felt a chill run down her spine, as if a thousand eyes were watching her every move. And then, without warning, the chamber began to shake, as if the very foundations of the earth were crumbling around her. Sarah's heart raced as she realized that she had stumbled upon something far more dangerous than she had ever imagined. With a sense of impending doom weighing heavily upon her, Sarah knew that she had to escape the tunnels before it was too late. But as she turned to flee, a voice echoed through the darkness, chilling her to the bone. Welcome, Sarah, the voice whispered its tone dripping with malice. You have unlocked the gates to a world beyond your comprehension. And now, you shall pay the price for your curiosity. With a sense of dread gnawing at her insides, Sarah knew that she was trapped in a nightmare from which there was no escape. For beyond the lens of the CCTV cameras, a darkness lurked that threatened to consume her soul and drag her down into the depths of hell itself. And as she stood on the brink of oblivion, Sarah realized that the true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. As Sarah stood frozen in terror, the voice continued to taunt her from the darkness, its words echoing through the chamber like a sinister symphony. With each passing moment, the oppressive weight of the ancient evil that lurked within Blackwood Manor pressed down upon her, threatening to crush her spirit into oblivion. Desperate to escape the nightmare unfolding around her, Sarah frantically searched for a way out. 
her mind racing with fear and uncertainty. But no matter which direction she turned, the tunnel seemed to stretch out endlessly before her, leading her deeper into the bowels of the earth. As she stumbled through the darkness, Sarah's senses were assaulted by a cacophony of eerie sounds. Whispers that seemed to emanate from the very walls themselves, and the distant echo of something stirring in the depths below. With each step she took, Sarah felt herself being drawn further into the clutches of the ancient evil that had taken root within Blackwood Manor. And as the darkness closed in around her, she knew that she was running out of time. But just as all hope seemed lost, Sarah stumbled upon a glimmer of light flickering in the distance. With a renewed sense of determination, she raced towards it, her heart pounding in her chest as she prayed for salvation. As she emerged from the tunnels into the cold night air, Sarah found herself standing once again outside the crumbling facade of Blackwood Manor. But as she looked up at the looming mansion, she realized that her ordeal was far from over. For beyond the lens of the CCTV cameras, a darkness had been unleashed that threatened to consume everything in its path. And as Sarah stared into the abyss, she knew that the true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. As Sarah stood outside Blackwood Manor, her breath coming in ragged gasps, she realized that the true extent of the darkness that lurked within its walls was beyond her comprehension. The mansion loomed over her like a malevolent specter, its windows staring down at her like the eyes of a predator. With a sense of foreboding weighing heavily upon her, Sarah knew that she had to warn the townsfolk of the impending danger. But as she turned to leave, a sudden chill ran down her spine, and she felt a presence watching her from the shadows. Whispers danced on the edge of her consciousness, urging her to stay, to delve deeper into the mysteries of Blackwood Manor. And as much as she tried to resist, Sarah found herself drawn back into the darkness, unable to escape its grasp. With each passing moment, the boundary between reality and nightmare blurred, and Sarah found herself trapped in a never-ending cycle of fear and despair. The shadows seemed to reach out for her, their icy fingers grazing her skin as she stumbled through the mansion's decaying halls. But amidst the darkness, Sarah glimpsed a glimmer of hope, a flicker of light in the distance that beckoned her forward. With a renewed sense of purpose, she followed the light, praying that it would lead her to safety. Yet, as she drew closer, Sarah realized that the light was not what it seemed a sickly glow upon the walls, revealing twisted figures and grotesque faces that seemed to leer at her from the shadows. And then, just as Sarah thought she could go no further, she stumbled upon a door 
unlike any she had ever seen. It stood at the end of a long, narrow corridor, its surface carved with strange symbols and sigils that pulsed with an otherworldly energy. With trembling hands, Sarah reached out to touch the door, her fingers grazing its cold surface. And as she did, she felt a surge of power course through her veins, as if the very essence of Blackwood Manor was calling out to her, beckoning her to unlock its secrets. But as Sarah hesitated, unsure of what lay beyond the threshold, she felt a presence stirring behind her, a darkness so palpable that it threatened to consume her whole. And as she turned to face it, she knew that her journey into the heart of Blackwood Manor was far from over. As Sarah stood before the mysterious door, her heart pounded in her chest, torn between the overwhelming urge to flee and the unquenchable thirst for answers that burned within her. The presence lurking in the shadows behind her seemed to grow stronger with each passing moment, its malevolent intent palpable in the air. With a trembling hand, Sarah reached for the doorknob, her fingers hesitating on the cold metal surface. She could feel the weight of centuries of darkness pressing down upon her, urging her to turn back before it was too late. But deep down, Sarah knew that she could not ignore the call of the unknown. With a deep breath, she summoned every ounce of courage she had turned the knob, stealing herself for whatever horrors lay beyond. As the door creaked open on rusty hinges, Sarah was met with a blinding light that seared her eyes and sent her stumbling backward. Blinking away the tears, she cautiously stepped through the threshold and into the room beyond. What she found took her breath away. A vast chamber bathed in an ethereal glow, its walls adorned with intricate carvings and strange symbols that seemed to dance in the flickering light. In the center of the room stood a pedestal, upon which rested a single ornate artifact, a key unlike any Sarah had ever seen. As she approached the pedestal, Sarah felt a sense of dread wash over her. She could sense that the artifact held immense power. Power that could either save her from the darkness or doom her to an eternity of torment. With trembling hands, Sarah reached out to grasp the key, her fingers closing around its cold metal surface. And as she did, she felt a surge of energy course through her veins filling her with a sense of purpose and determination. But before she could make sense of what was happening, the shadow stirred once more, and the presence that had been lurking in the darkness emerged into the light. With a bone-chilling laugh, it revealed itself to be none other than the spirit of Blackwood Manor itself, a malevolent force hell-bent on consuming Sarah's soul. As the spirit advanced upon her, Sarah knew that she was facing her greatest challenge yet. With the fate of Ravenswood hanging in the balance, she must summon every ounce of strength and courage she possessed to confront the darkness that threatened to engulf her. But as the spirit loomed ever closer, Sarah could not shake the feeling that her journey into the heart of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. As the spirit of Blackwood Manor loomed over her, Sarah could feel its icy grip tightening around her soul. Every fiber of her being screamed for escape, but she knew that she had come too far to turn back now. 
Summoning every ounce of courage she possessed, Sarah confronted the spirit head on, her eyes blazing with determination. With a defiant cry, she brandished the key she had retrieved from the chamber, hoping against hope that it held the power to banish the darkness once and for all. But as she raised the key aloft, the spirit's laughter echoed through the chamber, mocking her feeble attempts to defy it. With a wave of its ethereal hand, it sent Sarah sprawling to the ground, her strength no match for its otherworldly might. As she lay there, gasping for breath, Sarah's mind raced with desperate thoughts. How could she hope to defeat a force as ancient and powerful as the spirit of Blackwood Manor? And what horrors awaited her if she failed? But even in the face of overwhelming odds, Sarah refused to surrender to despair. With a steely resolve, she rose to her feet once more, determined to fight to her last breath if necessary. With a sudden burst of inspiration, Sarah remembered the ancient incantations she had discovered in the book Bound in Human Skin. Perhaps, she thought, they held the key to defeating the spirit and saving herself from its clutches. With trembling hands, she retrieved the book from her bag and began to recite the incantations aloud, the words flowing from her lips like a prayer. With each syllable, she felt a surge of energy coursing through her veins, pushing back against the darkness threatened to consume her. But as the final words of the incantation left her lips, a deafening silence descended upon the chamber, broken only by the sound of her ragged breath. For a moment, it seemed as though time itself had stopped, as if the very fabric of reality hung in the balance. And then, with a blinding flash of light, the spirit of Blackwood Manor let out a blood-curdling scream, its form writhing and twisting in agony. With one final desperate cry, it vanished into the ether, leaving Sarah alone in the darkness once more. As she stood there, panting and exhausted, Sarah knew that her ordeal was far from over. The spirit may have been banished for now, but she could sense that it was only a matter of time before it returned, thirsting for vengeance. With a heavy heart, Sarah knew that she had to find a way to stop the darkness from consuming Ravenswood once and for all. But as she gazed out into the night, she realized that the true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. As Sarah pondered her next move, she couldn't shake the feeling that the darkness that had plagued Blackwood Manor was far from defeated. The spirit may have been banished for now, but its malevolent presence lingered in the air like a foul stench, a constant reminder of the horrors that lay hidden within the mansion's walls. With a heavy heart, Sarah knew that she could not rest until she had uncovered the true source of the darkness and put an end to it once and for all. But as she searched for answers, she found herself drawn deeper into a web of secrets and lies that threatened to consume her whole. Every corner she turned, every clue she uncovered, only served to deepen the mystery surrounding Blackwood Manor. And with each passing day, Sarah could feel the darkness closing in around her, its tendrils reaching out to ensnare her in its grasp. But amidst the chaos and uncertainty, 
Sarah refused to give up hope. Armed with her determination and a newfound sense of purpose, she continued to unravel the secrets of Blackwood Manor, determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. Yet, as she delved deeper into the heart of the darkness, Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. Shadows danced at the edge of her vision, and whispers echoed through the empty halls, filling her with a sense of dread. And then, just when she thought she had uncovered the truth, a new revelation emerged that shook her to her core. The true source of the darkness was far more ancient and malevolent than she could have ever imagined. And its intentions were far from benign. With her world crumbling around her, Sarah knew that she was facing her greatest challenge yet. The fate of Ravenswood hung in the ass. Sarah delved deeper into the mysteries of Blackwood Manor. She uncovered ancient texts and forbidden knowledge that spoke of a darkness that had existed long before the mansion was ever built. It was a darkness that hungered for souls, feeding on the fear and despair of the living to sustain its unholy existence. With each new revelation, Sarah's resolve grew stronger, fueled by a fierce determination to put an end to the darkness once and for all. But as she ventured further into the heart of the mansion, she realized that the true source of the darkness lay hidden deep within its labyrinthine corridors. Armed with the knowledge she had acquired, Sarah embarked on a perilous journey into the bowels of Blackwood Manor. Guided by a sense of purpose that burned like a beacon in the darkness, but with each step she took, the shadows seemed to grow thicker, threatening to engulf her in their suffocating embrace. Yet, despite the overwhelming sense of dread that hung in the air, Sarah pressed on, driven by a conviction that she alone held the key to stopping the darkness from consuming Ravenswood once and for all. But as she reached the heart of the mansion, she realized that the true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. For standing before her was a creature of pure darkness, its form shifting and twisting in the dim light like a nightmare made flesh. With a blood-curdling roar, it lunged towards her, its eyes burning with an unholy fire as it sought to claim her soul for its own. With a cry of defiance, Sarah raised her hand, summoning every ounce of power she possessed to confront the creature head on. But even as she unleashed a barrage of spells and incantations, she knew that she was fighting a losing battle against a force far greater than herself. As the creature closed in, its shadowy tendrils reaching out to ensnare her, Sarah knew that she had reached the end of her journey. But even in the face of certain doom, she refused to surrender to despair, clinging to the hope that somehow, some way, she would find a way to defeat the darkness once and for all. And as the final moments of her battle played out, Sarah knew that the true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun. As Sarah faced the creature of pure darkness, her heart pounded with a mixture of fear and determination. She knew that she was outmatched, facing a foe that seemed to defy all reason and logic. Yet, she refused to back down, unwilling to let the darkness claim victory. With a fierce cry, 
Sarah unleashed a barrage of spells and incantations, each one laced with the power of her will to survive. But with each attack, the creature seemed to grow stronger, its shadowy form shifting and contorting in response to her onslaught. As the battle raged on, Sarah could feel her strength waning, the darkness threatening to overwhelm her at every turn. Yet, she refused to give in, drawing upon every last ounce of energy she possessed in a desperate bid to turn the tide. But just as it seemed that all hope was lost, a sudden flash of light illuminated the chamber banishing the darkness and revealing a figure standing in the doorway. It was Marcus, Sarah's longtime friend and fellow investigator, his eyes blazing with determination as he stepped forward to join the fray. With renewed vigor, Sarah and Marcus fought side by side, their combined strength enough to push back against the creature and drive it back into the shadows. Even as they battled, they knew that the true source of the darkness still lurked within Blackwood Manor, waiting to be unleashed upon the world once more. As they caught their breath, Sarah and Marcus exchanged a knowing glance, their hearts heavy with the knowledge that their journey was far from over. The true horror of Blackwood Manor had only just begun, and they knew that they would need to confront it head on if they were to have any hope of saving Ravenswood from the darkness that threatened to consume it. With a silent vow to continue their fight until the bitter end, Sarah and Marcus turned their gaze back to the mansion, stealing themselves for the trials that lay ahead. For beyond the threshold of Blackwood Manor, a darkness lingered that threatened to devour everything in its path. And as they prepared to face it, they knew that their courage would be tested like never before. As Sarah and Marcus stood outside Blackwood Manor, their hearts heavy with the weight of the darkness that lingered within its walls, they knew they had faced their greatest challenge yet. The creature of pure darkness had been driven back, but they could sense that the true source of the evil still remained hidden, biding its time until it could strike once more. But even as they prepared to confront the darkness head on, a sudden realization washed over them. They were not alone. The townsfolk of Ravenswood had gathered outside the mansion, their faces filled with a mixture of fear and determination as they stood united against the forces of evil that threatened to destroy their home. With a newfound sense of purpose, Sarah and Marcus stepped forward, their voices ringing out above the crowd as they vowed to stand against the darkness together. And as they spoke, a wave of courage swept through the gathered throng, filling them with a resolve to fight for their town and their lives. With the townsfolk by their side, Sarah and Marcus ventured once more into the depths of Blackwood Manor, their hearts ablaze with the fire of hope. And as they faced the darkness together, they knew no matter what horrors awaited them, they would emerge victorious. For in the end, it was not the darkness that held sway over Ravenswood, but the light, the light of courage, of friendship, and of unwavering resolve. And as the sun rose over the horizon, casting its golden rays upon the town once more, Sarah and Marcus knew they had triumphed over the darkness that had threatened to consume them. As they emerged from the depths of Blackwood Manor, the townsfolk 
gathered around them, their faces alight with gratitude and relief. And as they celebrated their victory, Sarah and Marcus knew that they had forged a bond that could never be broken, a bond forged in the crucible of darkness and tempered by the light of hope. And as they looked out over the town of Ravenswood, bathed in the warm glow of the morning sun, they knew that their journey was far from over, but with courage in their hearts and the support of their friends and neighbors by their side, they were ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead, knowing that as long as they stood together, they would always emerge victorious. And so, as the curtain fell on the tale of Blackwood Manor, Sarah and Marcus knew that their story was just beginning. A story of courage, of friendship, and of the eternal battle between light and darkness. And as they walked hand in hand into the dawn of a new day, they knew that whatever trials awaited them, they would face them together, ready to confront the horrors that lurked beyond the lens.